Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Uh, we have a small session regarding the hypothesis testing. So we'll be looking into uh, t-test, anode test and chi-square test. Uh, this is just a preliminary level of explanation. So I already uploaded many videos regarding biostatistics, uh, regarding the hypothesis testing and when, how, uh, on what occasions the tests uh, of significant changes and what are the parametric testing, non-parametric testing. So I'm not going into details of all those things. So this session is preliminary steps how to perform a hypothesis testing. So if a question comes of t-test, ANOVA test or chi-square test, you can write these six steps because this is a basic uh, steps for any testing. So if t-test is been asked, you can write, but only thing is uh, the formula uh, in the step four will be changed uh, similarly for ANOVA test and also for chi-square test. So the first step of uh, testing before that we need to understand what and when to do a testing. Suppose we are uh, having uh, two groups where we uh, apply uh, a particular trick. Uh, this A and B are uh, having uh, received two different drugs and we are checking the efficacy of these drugs. And this group has around uh, 30 people and this is also having around 30 people. So we are trying to find out the efficacy of these two drugs, which is better and which is not good. So first we need to create the null hypothesis for any study. We are uh, telling that there is no uh, significant difference or there is no particular effect for these drug. That is the null hypothesis. Null means nil. We are stating that there is no difference between these two drugs. It says that both the drugs are equal. So that is null hypothesis. Okay. So this is how every research starts. Now we have to find out the degree of freedom. So let's not go into detail about the degree of freedom. It's a little complicated uh, statistical terminology. Let's learn degree of freedom and degree of freedom we can find out by uh, n minus 1 if it is a 1 group and n1 plus n2 minus 2 n is nothing but the number okay so we are not going into the calculation of all this so first thing is to create the null hypothesis and find out the degree of freedom then setting the p value p means the probability value the probability value of rejecting type 1 error type 1 error so just by heart all this I'm doing this for my undergraduate students so probability usually kept 5 percentage that is 0 0.05 that is the error rate type 1 error rate is 5 by 100 that is 0 0.05 or 5 percentage so that is setting the p-value or probability value or the probability value of having a type 1 error okay just by hearted what is type 1 error we are not going to explain next is a crucial step that is applying the test so we have data that is we are checking uh, blood pressure for say we are checking blood pressure reduction so we have blood pressure of this a group and b group okay so around 120 this is 110 and this is a mean systolic blood pressure. Now we need to apply this value into the test. If we are using test within two groups, then we need to apply t-test. So t-test we are having two classification, independent t-test and pair t-test. So in this case, we are going to apply independent t-test because both the groups are different. We have a A group and we have a B group. P pair, pair t-test that is the test which is being applied when we have a before after experiment. That is uh, we are applying a drug on group A and we are checking after 30 days that is before after experiment in a single group 
then we'll be using pair t test if we have two different groups that is group a and group b we must use independent t test okay so when we have two groups sometimes it will be paired sometimes it will be unpaired so in that case we need to use independent or pair t test so after that we need to find out the critical value so there will be a table a con a fixed table just like our logarithm table every test t test is having one table anova is having f test value chi square test is having another table so in that table with respect to the degree of freedom there is a cutoff value so that cutoff value we need to find out depending upon the degree of freedom for this group so this group degree of freedom will be n1 plus n2 that is 30 plus 30 minus 2 that will be 58 so critical value with respect to the degree of freedom 58 we need to find out okay so once we get this value by uh, putting these values mean uh, standard deviation the sample size suppose we get 50 okay and the critical value what we got is 58 so here the t value is less than the critical value so we will not reject the null hypothesis we should accept the null hypothesis and we should state that there is no difference between the two groups that is both the drugs we used are almost equal we cannot say one is better than the other one but if this is greater than the critical value if we get this as 60 so this 60 will be greater than 58 so we reject the null hypothesis and we say that there is a difference between these two groups one drug is more uh, effective than the other one so this is about the t test okay so in ANOVA also uh, we have different test so the formula is very complicated but in ANOVA there will be a third group when we have three groups okay so t test is always used when we have two groups and t test is three groups so the rest everything is same only thing is the formula will be different but ANOVA will be applied only when there is presence of more than two groups okay so that is the difference between t test and ANOVA you can write all these steps in ANOVA also but we need to have three groups uh, whereas the chi-square test chi-square test is a different uh, format uh, where uh, here in uh, t-test and ANOVA what we are commonly using is mean and standard deviation but in chi-square test we will not be using mean and standard deviation instead we will be using proportion proportion means percentage okay so the rest everything is same only the formula is different this is observed frequency expected frequency o is for observed frequency expected frequency and this is expected frequency and finally we get a value we calculate it with uh, our critical value with respect to the degree of freedom then we reject or accept the null hypothesis in t test and ANOVA mean and standard deviation will be using chi-square mostly the percentage will be using the number of people with diabetes number of people without diabetes but in uh, cases where we are checking the mean uh, RBS that is a random blood sugar level in those cases we will be using t-test and ANOVA depending upon the number of groups two groups mean t-test three groups means ANOVA two or any excess number three four five six any number we will be using ANOVA chi-square test means number of people with one, one disease or number of people without disease that proportion percentage of people with one particular thing is coming under chi-square test I know it is very uh, complicated one and it is uh, beyond uh, an undergraduate level but still uh, you can write these six step means definitely you would get good marks only thing is you need to write the formula for chi-square test and t-test mostly t-test will be asking chi-square test sometimes they will be asking 
but you need to write all these six steps this is common for all steps and that is testing okay so i'll come up with new topic in the industry mo thank you